we've got a case for beginner here. The first thing we always like to do, we're going to outline our anatomical structures. Let me do this in red. So we have here maxillary sinus. We have here the nasal conchs right there. The piriform, the anterior nasal spine. Okay, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to go ahead and highlight or trace the uh, inferior velar nerve. Let's see. We know this is going to come around the first or second premolar. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. It's kind of hard to see over here. So, now, what makes this case uh, for a beginner? Simply because what we need to see is the type of bone that we have. And what I see here, we have straight bone right across, as opposed to having a dip. Sometimes you find on an x-ray that you find the semilunar dip as such, which obviously clearly would represent a, uh, a resorption inferiorly and medially. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase those uh, right there. When we see that the uh, x-ray shows that the bone is straight you're gonna know right off the bat that this is a case with uh, a flat ridge now that being said we're gonna go ahead and work on our safety landmarks the way we do this is we outline the adjacent teeth and we're gonna connect this in such a way this creates a safety zone the safety zone is this part right over here and what we're looking for, we want to be safe, probably, well not probably, we want to be at least two to three millimeters on top of the nerve. Now over here we have the roots for the uh, incisors. We don't have um, <clears throat> roots in the back. So we're just going to outline this about two to three millimeters superior to the inferior uh, alveolar canal. So, what we're gonna do now is trace a safety zone. So bottom line, we have our safety zone right there. Let me uh, let me erase that little part. This is wrong, right? Oops, let me take it back. There we go, that's our safety zone right there. So now we're gonna start placing implants. And what we need to do, let's get this in. Let's use this in green. We can place so that's a premolar. We can come over here and do one implant right there, one implant right there, and a third one right there. Notice how they're not perfectly parallel. They have to follow the curve of speed. Over here, we would place implants as follows. Now, this is very nice because you're able to kind of visualize where you're going. And then we kind of see, look at our spaces. This would be a, a premolar. This would be a molar. And this would be another molar. Clearly we would have to work a little bit on creating a pathom insertion right there. And over here we have central canine, premolar, premolar, molar, and molar. So there you have it. That's a simple case for beginners. Any beginner can go ahead and do this. This would be a eight implant case. And this is something that we want to accomplish in three hours. All of these implants right here, we want to make them the same length and height. Anytime we're on top of the nerve, we're looking at 10 millimeters as a safety zone. And since we're going to be placing multiples, we're probably looking at doing 3.5 millimeters. In the back here, we usually go with a little bit wider 4.3s. Again, anytime we're on top of the nerve, we're looking at doing 10 millimeters. That's our safety zone. All right, we're done.